Hey guys, um, Linda here, and I, um, if I sound funny, I got a cold and I don't feel very good. Um, in Leith, North Dakota, um, which is, um, actually in the treaties for Native Americans, I, I'm sure most of you know this neo-Nazi socialist white supremacist group set up camp, and the Indians put out a call for people to unite and to protest against this because it is in their their treaty territory and um, it happened I'm sure it didn't make it to that lamestream media however there was a big protest bikers came people from all over North Dakota came all different colors came and stood in unity with the Indians now the way the police were set up there though it says if they were protecting the white neo-Nazi socialist supremacist so it makes you wonder because they have a thing on the tree about the back and oil which we know is raping our earth I mean this is the dirtiest process you could use to get some of the dirtiest oil so I almost think that this is a government setup especially with one guy having a uh, warrant for his arrest in Canada and also I think in Virginia um, he's got a warrant and why hasn't he been you know if it was me or you we would have already been taken off to jail or you know whatever they do if we have warrants for us so you know here's my question I'm gonna leave the link below and I, I'd like you guys to watch the video but um, because there's a little video and this is not by a Native American this is just someone who is there against them um, but uh, the my question is, is because they have this little back and oil sign up there and uh, stuff, which would make them, I don't know, almost probably sponsored by the government to go be agitators so that this dirty oil can run through there. We all know that there's free energy out there. So anyway, just that's my, my thought on this because um, this guy... Cobb or something has warrants for his arrest you know in our country and in Canada so and the police are guarding them pretty tightly and the protest did continue and they let the Indians lead the way the first I mean that was just awesome and and people of every color and the bikers like I said uh, supported them and it was actually very a very big protest in North Dakota which probably didn't make the news so here's my question. I, I'm going to leave the link, but do you think that maybe setting up a socialist, now mind you, neo-Nazi organization in a little town where probably the back and oil will pass through now if they have their way, um, people who do hate crimes against other people, even white people, if they don't agree with their ways of thinking, do you think maybe this is a government psyop? Because I do. Seeing with them putting back in oil stuff signs up saying the oil needs to, it would create jobs. Actually, it doesn't create very many jobs, and the jobs it creates will kill you anyway from the, the contaminants to get this back in oil out. So, I just want your opinion below. I'm going to leave the link. I don't feel very good. I'm reading everybody's comments on everything, and thank you very much. I just don't feel like writing or anything. I kind of feel like just sleeping and try to kill this bug I have. Um, but I do love you all, and I'm going to leave the link below in there's a little video. Peace, love, and truth to everybody. And I hope you have a good day. But I'm, I'm really proud of everybody who came together and supported the Native Americans because now they are uniting. And this is not just happening in Leith. It's happening everywhere. And that's going to be a big destruction for the empires when people start going and uniting against the empires. And I'm out.